this decade had plenty of great couples to choose from. Unfortunately, we could only pick 10. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 unforgettable movie couples of the 2010s. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay for the summer. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we will be looking exclusively at live-action film couples. So animated film couples like Flynn Rider and Rapunzel need not apply. Additionally, movies that are about non-fiction couples, such as Richard and Mildred Loving, will not be included. Would you marry me? Number 10. Hazel Lancaster and Augustus Waters – The Fault in Our Stars You're probably wondering why you're sitting here eating a bad cheese sandwich and drinking orange juice with a guy in a Rick Schmitz jersey. It actually has crossed my mind. A heart-wrenching tale of love and loss, this film follows Hazel, a teenage girl dying of cancer. After her mother convinces her to go to a support group, Hazel meets and falls in love with a charismatic cancer survivor named Augustus. What makes this couple unforgettable is their willingness to do anything for each other. When Hazel laments that she can't afford to go to Amsterdam, who do you think buys her tickets? I travel in style or I don't travel at all. Both characters demonstrate a sincere affection for one another from start to finish. Try watching this film without a Kleenex box handy. We dare you. I love you so much, Augustus Waters. Number 9. Gil and Adriana, Midnight in Paris Oh, this is… this is remarkable. After a night out, vacationing writer Gil Pender decides to walk back to his Parisian hotel. But when the clock strikes midnight, he's suddenly transported back to 1920s Paris, a time of decadence, drunkenness, and Ernest Hemingway. He eventually finds himself falling in love with the beautiful and mysterious Adriana. Actually, I'm just here visiting. Oh, you must stay here. While they share a passion for the city and seemingly a timeless love for each other, it simply can't work. Luckily, when Gil finally returns to the Paris of today, the lovely Gabrielle is waiting for him to walk her home in the rain. Okay, now it's starting to rain. <laughs> no, but that's okay. I don't mind getting wet. Really? Yeah. Number 8. Samantha and Theodore Twomley. Her. What do I call you? Do you have a name? Or... Um, yes. Samantha. As far as unconventional movie couples go, this one takes the cake. Set in a futuristic version of LA, the film tells the story of Theodore, an introvert who falls in love with Samantha, his new computer operating system. Yes, we said it. You're beautiful. Thank you, Theodore. As the initial shock of this strange relationship begins to fade, you'll find yourself wondering, is there really a problem with this couple? They both care for one another and appear to enjoy being together. So what does it matter if one's human and the other an operating system with the voice of Scarlett Johansson? Is this couple a little eccentric? Probably. Are they unforgettable? Absolutely. I just wanted to hear your voice and tell you how much I love you. God, I love you too. Number 7. Ailish Lacey and Tony Fiorello, Brooklyn So would you dance for me? Brooklyn is the touching story of a young Irish immigrant named Ailish who travels to America in search of employment. Upon arriving, she quickly meets and falls in love with Tony, an Italian plumber. So the next time you tell me you love me, if there is a next time, I'll say I love you too. This film couple is so damn cute together it hurts. Both characters are overflowing with sincerity and compassion, sharing an emotional connection that ultimately leads to Ailish making America her home, and Tony her husband. While various forces attempt to keep them apart, the bond they share is too strong to ever be broken. Will you marry me before you leave? Number 6. Scott Pilgrim and Ramona Flowers – Scott Pilgrim vs. The World Because I'm in lesbians with you. What? This frenzied and hilarious flick tells the story of Scott Pilgrim, a 20-something slacker who falls hard for the new girl in town, Ramona Flowers, only to discover that to be with her, he has to defeat her seven evil exes. You have seven evil ex-boyfriends? Seven evil exes, yes. This movie feels more like a video game than a romantic comedy, but it still manages to infuse itself with a high level of sincerity. You can't help but cheer for this unconventional couple as they battle their way across Toronto in the name of love. I sort of feel like I'm on drugs when I'm with you. Not that I do drugs, unless you do drugs, in which case I do drugs all the time. Number 5. Cal and Emily – Crazy Stupid Love One, two, three… I want a divorce. Three, three, three. After his wife Emily tells him she wants a divorce, Cal Weaver befriends the womanizing Jacob, hoping he'll teach him how to pick up women. I want to help you. I'm going to help you rediscover your manhood. 
a heartfelt comedy with plenty of romantic entanglement, this film includes not one but two awesome couples. While Jacob and Hannah were clearly the sexier of the two, it's Cal and Emily's roller coaster romance that's unforgettable. As both try to ease the pain of their broken relationship, sometimes with meaningless sex, it only serves to bring them closer together. While their future together is ultimately left ambiguous, Cal and Emily work best when they're with each other. I should have fought for you. Because you fight for your soulmates. Number 4. Katniss Everdeen and Peter Malark, The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. Peter! We have to keep going. If we had a dollar for every time Katniss screamed his name during the course of this franchise, we'd be swimming in cash. In the fourth and final installment of the series, amid a plethora of death and destruction, the love triangle between Katniss, Peeta, and Gale is finally resolved, with Katniss and Peeta ending up together. You love me. Real or not real. Real. The two are meant for each other, having suffered through numerous hardships together, including the time he tried to kill her after being brainwashed by the Capitol. Their strengths and weaknesses complement each other, proving that for a relationship to work, both parties need to bring something positive to the table. Stay with me. Always. Number 3. Carol and Therese. Carol. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Set in Manhattan during the early 1950s, this film revolves around a young photographer and the relationship she develops with a glamorous but troubled middle-aged woman. Starring Academy Award winner Kate Blanchett and nominee Rooney Mara, this film isn't lacking in the acting department. The two women bring everything they have to their roles, creating characters that are not only believable, but worthy of the audience's empathy. I always spend New Year's alone, in crowds. I'm not alone this year. As the relationship between Carol and Therese progresses, it becomes harder and harder to tear your eyes from the screen. <laughs> Number 2. Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. In the final installment of the franchise, Harry, Ron, and Hermione race against the clock to destroy Voldemort's remaining horcruxes. While many fans were probably hoping that the titular Harry would be the one to end up with the smart and beautiful Hermione Granger, it's his best mate Ron who ultimately wins her affection. You do it. I can't. Yes, you can. While this film series didn't reference the budding relationship between Ron and Hermione as much as the books, the two still make a cute couple. The unique take on their first kiss particularly stands out in this adaptation, making for a truly applause-worthy moment. Harry can have the glory. Ron is happy to get the girl. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Sorry, I don't know how to dance like Cassidy. Hey, you dance like Amy. That's perfect. I'm certainly glad to see you again. Alright. Alright. I'm certainly glad to see you as well. You're bien là. Ouais. Pas trop maintenant. Number one, Sebastian and Mia, La La Land. I walk along the Will Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone just get married already? Having already played lovers in a number of films, perhaps their best and most memorable performance came in this Los Angeles set musical that scored them a couple of Oscar nods and a win for Stone. It's pretty strange that we keep running into each other. It is strange. Playing the roles of Sebastian and Mia respectively, the chemistry between the two actors is palpable. From steamy dance numbers to intense conversations about life and jazz, the character's relationship is equal parts believable, whimsical, and melancholic. From beginning to end, Gosling and Stone prove that they are true Hollywood heavyweights. I'm always gonna love you. I'm always gonna love you too. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.